Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Retrolution Racing, which is a new game. It's on Steam and we're going to play it. All right, so here we go. We'll start. Sure. Okay. So we can just pick our car, I guess. Um, what was that one? No. There's quite a few different cars. That's cool. Um, I'm looking for a Mustang. I might have already got gone past it. They might not have one. This is a something else. Surely they've got a Mustang thing. That's what I want. I want a Mustang. Give it to me. No, nope. I think we've I think we've passed all of the things that they might have. Um. Well, at least that one's purple. No, it's not purple anymore. Okay. Right. There we go. So we are racing. Okay. The, um, the controls have a weird response time to them, but that's okay. And uh, I guess we're retrolution racing. We're on track one of 40 is what the, the thing says there. There's no timer or anything, so we're just driving on this track. Okay, so that was a tutorial. Right, where was that purple car? It was purple before. What the hell? So do they, are, the, are the colors just randomizing as you go through them? Okay, well that's... Kind of cool, but also really frustrating. Okay, sure. Alright, let's race. I'm ready. Yeah, the acceleration is bonkers. What, I mean, what is that about? Okay. So... We started in last place, and we're remaining in last place. Yep. Yeah. Oops. That's not what I wanted to be doing. Driving on the road or the grass doesn't seem to change anything, really. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so what place are we in? We're in sixth place. We've got a lot of... Sp a lot of time to make up for. Yeah, so the uh, the grass versus the road isn't really relevant at all. It comes down to lines taking the grass into account as part of the road. Yeah, so now we're in fourth place. Nice. Alright. We'll catch them. It'll be fine. I mean, I like the colors and stuff. It's very bright. And uh, we've got some jaunty music to listen to. I don't know. I don't hate it. I'm not sure if it's offering anything uh, different enough from any other tinny racing game on Steam to be worth looking at yet. But we'll see. Alright, so now we're in third place. Because we're... Pretty good at racing, I guess. I mean, braking isn't really necessary. It's all just the game lets you drift through most things. Which, in a game like this, is pretty fun. Yeah. I'm, uh, I do like racing games. I'm not super good at them. My, my favorite racing game is definitely Burnout. Um... Not the open world one, the, uh, oh, what is it? So I came in second, okay? So we can pick a different car this time. Sure. And we start in 10th every time, this is, okay. I don't actually see how we're supposed to catch up to first place. 
starting in 10th place like this. I just, I don't think it's actually doable, but that's okay. We will try. All we can do is try. So I will fast forward and see if there's more content. So we're on to race 10, and I'm in first place. I don't get first place on every race because the guys in the front are pretty hard to catch. Um, and like I said, the main thing about the game is lines because everyone gets the same speed boost from the thing at the start, which I don't actually understand why it's even there. Like, if everyone gets it every time, then all it does is make the race a little bit shorter, and maybe that, maybe that was the point, is to make the race a little bit shorter, but then why not then just make the race a little bit shorter? Because there's no way to not hit the boost. Everyone hits the boost. So everyone gets exactly the same benefit from it. There is no benefit to it. Um, so the only thing that you can uh, gain ground on is uh, doing better lines than the other drivers. Because the grass doesn't actually hurt you. So you have to take the grass as a shortcut. Um, every time, every chance you get, which I, I don't watch Formula One, but I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do that much of that. Not that this is Formula One, I don't know what this would be. Um, everyone has different cars and they all seem to go 160 miles an hour as their max speed. Um, that's how fast they go. So every race consists of, uh, getting past the 12th, 11th, 10th, and 9th place people, then the five, six, and seven um, people are all in a row, um, and you get past them, and then uh, you get to fourth place, and there's a guy that's trailing the two first place people in, in third place, and you have to pass him, and then if you've done really well, you might get an opportunity to try and cut some corners and get into first and second, because they're all the way out in front. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna probably ruin my chances of getting into that first or second place thing. Um, you can't take hits like that. It's illegal. Um, oh, although he is just right there. I don't know. I might, I might be able to catch him. Who knows? Sometimes they get trapped behind the last place guy, which is always the truck. It's always the truck. So, although it doesn't look like that's happening this time. Oh, I just hit a wall. That's bad. My line on this uh, lap has been terrible, so... It's no surprise, yeah, they got stuff on the truck, nice. It's no surprise that I'm not going to get first place, but I might be able to steal second. Yeah, so I'll steal second. Hooray! So as you can see, we're in second place behind Takamasa Nomuro. Um, I think that's probably enough of the game, though. Let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. All right, Retrolution Racing. Choose one of 36 top class cars and join the world of retro car racing. Uh, developed by Gabrielle Almeida. Uh, it currently costs $7.19. It's probably fine. I don't know. There's nothing that there's nothing in this game that separates it from any other game. It works, it's functional, it's good enough. Yeah? That's that's my feedback here, is that it's good enough. It probably should be like 99 cents, not five bucks. I don't know. Um 
there's nothing there's nothing extra going on uh the races are all very samey it's basically the same track over and over um with slightly different turns um and i realize that that's what real racing is but in a video game we can live in the land of fantasy and you could have dragons flying overhead or um i don't know just like anything besides just the same you know boring background yeah like dream bigger dream bigger is what i would say uh, so, welcome to Retrolution. Choose one of 36 top class cars and join in the world of retro car racing. Show off your driving skills and become a track legend. Leave your rivals in the dust in high speed com competition races. Incredible drift racing to catch up to opponents during turns. Reach the best positions in the race to increase your score in the rankings. You are the king of speed. Start your journey to be the champion of champions in Retrolution. Drive your turbo car with a fast speed on the asphalt. Racing is the best check for your skills. Experience drift speed on the track and be the king of retro car racers. Wow, those are all like, <laughs> that is a weird series of sentences, right? Because those are all sentences about this game that are technically slightly different, but they're all saying similar things, so they they feel really disconnected even though they're on the same topic saying the similar things. They feel like they're disconnected sentences talking about different things. Uh, very weird, because it's... All of them are just go fast and race in the car. Um, let's check out Grab Gabriel Almeida. Sorry. Um, he's got another game called Color Guys, which came out three years ago. Let's have a, let's have a, look, a quick look-see at that. Um, pink guy was kidnapped by a giant bat. Now the Color Guys need your help to rescue it. Get ready to embark on an epic mission full of challenges and puzzles. Cool. I mean, it looks all right doesn't look terrible this game is a nightmare <laughs> sure best puzzle platform I've ever seen love that um, I don't know I don't know what to say about uh, retrolution racing I don't there are lots of things that people expect to be in a game about racing um, simple things that would make this a better experience is being able to customize the color of your car rather than having to hope for random chance having the cars have slightly different uh presets or whatever that you know they had slightly better traction or slightly higher top speeds or slightly better braking making braking actually useful i mean there isn't any reason to brake in this game um I don't know. There's there's lots of stuff that you would expect in a racing game that's not here. And so while what is here functions and is pretty fun, there is a singular strategy to it, and it's to cut the corners on the um, you know by driving on the grass. Uh, and there is a strategy to that. There is some skill to that for sure. But like I said, I just don't. I played ten races because I wanted to see if there was like a a boss level or or something going on that would make me you know, carry on. There really wasn't. It was just more of kind of the exact same. The skyboxes were okay, but yeah. Yeah, there's a lot missing, um, and it costs probably a bit too much. I'd say 99 cents would be a good price for this game. Um, like I said, it's not terrible. The car models are cool. Um, the concept's pretty cool, I guess. It's just a race game. Like I said, it's the sort of game that I would download for free on my phone and play for an afternoon on my phone if I was bored or stuck in a plane or stuck at a train station or something, and then uninstall. Um, so spending seven bucks or five bucks US or whatever on it on Steam feels a little bit pricey. So yeah. Yep. I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Check out Retrolution Racing by clicking on the link in the description. And I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.